ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. That's it, man. That's it. The magic is over with. Ryan Fist magic is gone, man. I, I, I don't... I mean, let's get into it, y'all. So you guys know Ryan Fitzpatrick announced that he's retired after 17 years in the league. Now, this is one of the most consistent, inconsistent, inconsistent quarterbacks I've ever seen. And he was just the definition of a journeyman. But he was also a leader, okay? But let's just recap all of Ryan Fitzpatrick's career all the way up into Tampa Bay, okay? So we all know Ryan Fitzpatrick was a backup for the Rams. And then he found his niche with the Buffalo Bills. And then the Bills, he became a Jet. He was in some battles with the, the Patriots, with the Brady, had some back and forths. But then we got him. We got Ryan Fitzpatrick, and we made the Fitz Magic moniker. And I feel that his run in Tampa was his best career move ever. Because it showed us a side of his personality and that we never saw before with the celebration, you know, touchdown, he does the celebration, his off the field persona, you know, when he did the Conor McGregor, I styled and the Deshaun Jackson swag. But he just was so exciting that he was just this go for broke player. I mean, I'm doing some games and Deshaun Watson, Deshaun Watson, Deshaun Jackson was the perfect receiver for a Ryan, a Ryan Fitz magic because you get the long ball. Ryan Fitzpatrick was just throwing balls left and right. And we lost a lot of close games because of Ryan Fitzpatrick. And we won a lot of games because of Ryan Fitz magic. You see what I did there? Huh? Uh, okay, I ain't gonna do it again. But anywho, so I remember against the Monday night game against Pittsburgh. We was getting destroyed. We almost came back on Pittsburgh because of Ryan Fitz magic, but we lost the game because we got put down early in the game because of Ryan Fitzpatrick. It happens. But like I said, when he was in Tampa, this guy replaced Jameis Winston. Now think about that. The number one overall pick was replaced by a journeyman who was decades older than he was. And people wanted Fitzpatrick over Jameis Winston. That's just how much he had. That's how much just attention, how much a locker room leader, how much respect he had amongst his team, his fans, and his peers. But, you know, he retired today. You know, after he left Tampa, he went to, you know, the Dolphins, then the Washington football team. Um, now, hey, he had a great career. At least you ended him 17 years, especially with his standards. He didn't really have any expectations. He, you know, he, he made a very good niche for himself. He made a, some great money, and it was to the point that he was one of the top free agents on the market um, when he got signed by Washington football team. So, I mean, he really made a name for himself. And his career stats are 223 yards. Oh, no, no, no. His career stats are 223 touchdowns, 169 interceptions, 3, 34,990 yards, and 82.3 pass rate, which is a very very more than solid respectable great career for a journeyman quarterback who didn't start a lot of games and who was just used as a stopgate before you know hey we just need you to be a stopgap to this i started quarterback come back from injury or we get a draft pick or whatever he was a guy here that he can hold his own until you figure out what to do so ryan fitzpatrick thank you for what you did for tampa bay you was a, a, a spark, and um, I just hope whatever you do on your next career, just um, keep um, keep bringing the lovable energy that you bring, and um, here's to you. Guys, if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. That helps me help the channel grow. And um, I just want to make this quick video just for honor our, our former quarterback. You guys, have a good one.